Natural spider repellents are easy to make at home and work just as well as commercial repellents without the drawback of containing chemicals and toxins that are bad for your health and the health of your pets. Many of these natural repellents involve using ingredients unpleasant to spiders, such as essential oils and ammonia, to deter them from entering your home and encourage them to leave. By using sprays and deterrents around the points of entry in your house such as cracks or crevices and around windows and doors, you can effectively deter spiders without any negative consequences to your health. How to make spider repellent at home Welcome to my channel. Here, we talk about gardening tips and pest control methods like this. So you're here for the first time. Maybe it's a good idea to subscribe. Also, click the bell icon so that you receive notifications on my new upload. Part 1. Using Essential Oil Spray 1. Combine essential oils and water. Pour 7 drops of essential oil in an empty 16-ounce, 473.17 ml glass spray bottle. Then fill the spray bottle up until until about 1 inch, 2.54 cm, from the top with warm water. Use either peppermint, tea tree, citrus, lavender or neem essential oil, as these oils are proven to repel spiders. Try to use a glass spray bottle, as essential oils can sometimes react with plastic. 2. Add dish soap and shake. Add a small squirt of liquid dish soap into the spray bottle, then place the top on the bottle and shake so that the mixture is combined. Because oil and water don't mix, dish soap is needed to break apart the oil molecules so that they can mix in with the water. 3. Spray on entry points. Spray the essential oil spray on any entry points in your house, including around window frames, door cracks, and any crevices that you may notice in your home. Also spray any corners where spiders tend to congregate. If you are spraying furniture or carpets, keep in mind that the oil may leave a stain. Spot test an inconspicuous area of the upholstery or carpet by spraying and making sure the repellent doesn't alter its color before using. 4. Reapply the spray once a week. Natural repellents need to be reapplied more often than chemical-based ones, so make sure that you reapply the spray once a week. Part 2. Making other repellent sprays. 1. Make an ammonia repellent. Combine one part ammonia and one part water in a spray bottle, then close the spray bottle and shake. Spray the ammonia spray around entry points in your house and other places where spiders tend to gather. Reapply the spray every week. Instead of making a spray, you can also dip a cloth in the solution and use it to wipe around the entry points of your house for a more concentrated application. 2. Make a vinegar spray. Combine one part vinegar to two parts water in a spray bottle and shake to mix. Spray the vinegar spray around doorways, window frames, or other points of entry in your house, reapplying the spray every week for the best results. 3. Make a salt water spray. Pour half an ounce, 14.78 milliliters, of salt into a half gallon, 1.89 liters, of warm water and mix until the salt is dissolved. Then pour the mixture into a spray bottle. Use the spray on points of entry to deter spiders, reapplying the spray once a week. Spraying salt water directly on a spider can kill it. 4. Create a tobacco spray. Fill a spray bottle almost to the top with hot water, then add a healthy pinch of tobacco. Allow the tobacco to soak into and infuse the water for about an hour, then spray the mixture around the entry points of your home. The strong smell of the tobacco will drive away unwanted spiders. Part 3. Laying down repellent materials. 1. Sprinkle cedar shavings. Place a sprinkling of cedar shavings or several blocks of cedar around points of entry and spider-infested areas. You can also lay down cedar mulch in your garden or around the perimeter of your house. The strong smell of cedar will deter spiders and drive them away. 2. Use deatomaceous earth. 
Sprinkle 100% food grade diatomaceous earth lightly on points of entry around your home, such as around windowsills and doors. Keep in mind that diatomaceous earth will kill spiders, so if you only want to deter them, use a different substance. Diatomaceous earth is picked up on spiders' legs and lower bodies and works by slowly dehydrating the spiders until they die. Though diatomaceous earth kills spiders and insects, it is safe for you and your pets. 3. Use baking soda. Sprinkle baking soda around your house in points of entry or around the areas where you notice the most spiders. The smell of baking soda will drive the spiders away from your home. 4. Line entry points with chestnuts. Place unshelled chestnuts around the various points of entry in your home and areas favored by spiders. Though there is some controversy around the effectiveness of using chestnuts as repellent, with some calling it an old wives' tale, others swear by them. 5. Rub entry points with citrus. Rub entry points of your home such as window sills, doorways and cracks with citrus peels. You can even scatter citrus peels around your home and in conspicuous places to strengthen the effect of this deterrent. 6. Sprinkle tobacco around your home. Because spiders hate the scent of tobacco, you can sprinkle small bits of tobacco around your home to drive away pesky spiders. 7. Use herbs and spices. Scatter bay leaves, whole cloves, turmeric, or ground black pepper around the exterior of your house or around entry points inside your home to drive away spiders. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update from Guardian's Choice Official.